word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord. As I got this uh, invitation, I began to uh, seek the Holy Spirit um, as to what to uh, say to, to God's people. Um, and something began to come, resonate in my spirit um, that I had to, and that I couldn't get away from. Um, so I began to pray and fast and to really seek the Lord as to, uh, to what he would want to say to us today. Is that all right? Amen. And I want to talk with you real briefly. I think if y'all can give me maybe about, what, 20 minutes maybe? 20 minutes? Huh? No. Well, you don't say that. <laughs> my wife had to be my time clock sometimes because sometimes I'll be on the island of Patmos all by myself. Next day I know three hours gone. Y'all be, everybody left but me. Hey, Amen. But we're going to go almost. Um, just ask the Lord to give us about maybe 20, 25 minutes, and hopefully I'll be able to exegete this and, and um, share what's just said the Lord here. Um, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you uh, just for being God. Lord, you said, he that hath the ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. So, God, we stand, God, in your presence today. God, we know right now that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And God, we thank you that every tongue that come up against us, thou shalt condemn. And so God, we release the anointing now that destroys the yoke of the enemy. God, I thank you now for setting us free today. God, let no person that enter these grounds leave the same. God, we thank you, God. We give you glory even in advance for every household that you're setting in order, oh God. Every financial st instability, God, that you're putting in place, God, we thank you even now. And God, we claim it and we believe it by faith as we stand on your promises and we know your promises are yea and amen. And God, we give you praise and honor and glory now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen. Amen. I do want to honor, amen, I see a couple of my cousins out there, cousin Cynthia, I see you, I see a, a few other familiar faces, amen, so we salute you in this place today. I want to talk with you real briefly, amen, from um, a, a very familiar text uh, dealing with um, Hananiah, Mikhail, and Azariah, uh -huh. and, and most of us know them as, um, y'all know them over there in Daniel 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> Amen. That's very, very crucial that we don't forget their real, real names. And we're coming back to that as we jump into this. Amen. So look, if you will, if you have your Bibles. Amen. And I we know we all should. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Daniel. We're going to look at chapter 3 here. We're going to look at chapter 3. Uh, and as I begin to seek the Lord in my quiet place, I do believe in those that know me, know uh, as I, you know, travel all over the world. I really don't like putting titles um, to messages, but for me, and I understand that for God's people, it's easy to remember. And so if y'all can just allow me space to tag a title to this message, and it would be, and just look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor this, and they're going to understand it. Uh, the struggle is real. Okay, you, you now, no, now watch this. Now watch this. Don't miss this. This is important. Turn to your other neighbor and tell your other neighbor this, but God got it. But God got it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See, see, let me just tell you what just happened in the spirit. What just happened in the spirit was you identified where you are, but then you put a supernatural God on top of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You put a supernatural God on top of where you are. Amen. Y'all in Daniel? Y'all pushing me right about now. Y'all got to be careful with that because I fly off this porch and start running in the woods. Amen. Amen. Y'all, y'all, Daniel chapter 3? Okay, let us look at verse um, 19. And I think it's about maybe five or six verses we're going to read here. Um, and we're, we're finding uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Hariah, Micaiah, and Azariah. We find them here in front of the king in verse 19. Then was, uh, then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. This was the king. And the forms of his village was uh, changed. Uh, against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it won't to be heated. And he commanded the most high, highly men, watch this now, that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fires and uh, furnace. 
Uh, then these men were bound in their coats, their hoses, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning furnace. And verse 22 reads, and therefore, uh, be, because the key commandment was urgent, watch this, y'all, mm. and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the fire of the burning fiery furnace then um, Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished I feel you now God and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors do not uh, we did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire they answered and said unto the him to the king uh, true O king he, the, then the king said this the king made a statement he, he answered and said lo I see four uh, men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of God amen uh, as we look at what's going on now amen in in the world amen in the earth realm as uh, around us even cer certain situations and c certain circumstances that we're in now it seems and it appears that we're in such dilemmas now that uh, our faith is being tested. Anybody been there, y'all? Somebody's there now. I can figure in the spirit. It, it's almost like our faith, faith is being pushed to the max because we're kind of like, well, Lord, I'm in this, but I know you, but it's kind of difficult right about here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can pray. I don't care how who you are. I don't care how anointed you are. Amen. I don't care what your title is. Amen. You will not escape the struggle. Come on, uh huh. Because the struggle. Oh, don't. You, oh, yeah, yeah. Because the struggle now is necessary. Yeah. See, the Bible says what the enemy meant for bad, God will turn it around and work it out for our good. Amen. So watch this. When you're able to praise God in the midst of the struggle, amen, it signifies to God, amen, that you know him and he know you. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But watch this. See, here we find uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. If you go back, let me just go back to about chapter 2, if you allow me. If you go back, uh, the reason they ended up in this position, it wasn't because they did anything bad. It's because they were standing up for the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Because they declared and they decreed, we're not going to bow down, Nebuchadnezzar, to your image. We're not going to bow down to this golden statue that you created. And so, so that suggests to me that they took a stand for God. Yeah. See, see, can I just pull the bus over right there? Whenever we take a stand for God, I don't care where you find yourself at, God still got your back. Yeah. Why? Because I took that stand for him. Now, we got to be very careful right about there because oftentimes, amen, we'll take stands for ourselves. Oh, 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 oh. We will take stands thinking we're taking them for God. But we ain't labor, we ain't fast, we haven't prayed, we don't know what God is doing, we don't know what he's saying. Amen. So how do you think that that's for God? You sure that ain't for you, baby? Come on, Come on now. Come so on. here, amen, these boy, these three Hebrew boys find themselves in front of the king, amen, and the king is upset, amen, because the Chaldeans, uh, 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 yeah, we're going to go back and revisit that, because the Chaldeans came and ratted them out. They're not bowing before your God. They're not, whenever the music and everything is playing, amen, these boys are not worshiping, amen, the music, the Chaldeans. They were the, if you go back and read just a little bit, let me just pull it over a little bit so you can understand. Amen, the Chaldeans were a Babylonian group who, they had a lot of stuff, amen, they had a lot of prestige, amen, they knew a lot of people, and so they thought they really had a lot of influence. So they figured if they go to the king and tell the, uh, tell, 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 and go to the king and tell the king that these individuals were not bowing down to their God, that the king would immediately react, and that's what the king did. Oh, come on, sir. But the king uh, didn't understand and you would think that he would have, because if you go back and read chapter 1, where Daniel was in the same situation, it was the same king, amen, that had, had Daniel hemmed up. But because God, amen, sent uh, uh, his spirit in the, in the lion's den to protect Daniel, I don't know what in King Nebuchadnezzar's mind didn't think that God was going to do the same thing with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Woo, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all got to hear that right there. See, that's a little biblical right there. You got to study your Bible to know that. But I do know this. Here are these three boys, amen, and they're, 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 they're put in this uh, uncompromising situation. Watch this. Can I just hurl a question to you? Have you ever been put in an uncompromising situation? Come on now. Have you ever been put back up against a wall where you've been struggling in your mind, you've been struggling in your spirit, you haven't been sleeping, you haven't been resting because there's been such conflict on the inside? Come on now. Am I the only one? I'm not. I can't be the only one. Amen. Amen. But here are these three Hebrew boys because of what they stood for. Don't miss that's very, very crucial on, on, on your deliverance and on my deliverance because of what they stood for. Because of what they stood for. So here now, the king threatens to throw them in the fire furnace. And watch this. Not just the regular old fiery furnace. The king said, turn it up harder. See, see, you think because now you're saved, amen, that you just going to tiptoe through the tulips. Oh, now, baby, that ain't the way it works. You're going to have to go through something that other people will blow their brains out, amen, but because of the greater one that's on the inside of you, you got to know I can make it through. I can make it through. So when you go through, you got to declare to the enemy, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I don't know how I'm coming, but I'm coming out. Come on now. That's good. The Bible says it like this. He said, call those things that be not as though they were. See, many of us now are speaking things the way they are. And because we're doing that, now the enemy is going into extra overdrive to make them become what you're saying. Y'all got to hear that. Y'all got to hear that. That's why you got to lay before the Lord and say, Lord, give me the right words, creating me a clean heart and a renewal right spirit within me because this battle is not mine, but it's yours. All the Lord is looking for is a vessel to carry out his glory. Amen, somebody. All he was looking for is a pure, clean vessel that he may use and get his glory out of it. Yes. Woo. But here, these three Hebrew boys find themselves. I don't know about y'all, but I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. But I can't ever say that I've ever been physically thrown in a fiery furnace. <laughs> but here... Symbolically, you know, we have, some of us have symbolically, but here these three Hebrew boys find themselves in this fiery furnace. But while they were in there, the Bible says that they were walking around. <laughs> they were walking around in the fiery furnace. That suggests to me that they weren't just uh, in there saying, woe is me. See, see, you got to understand something. The minute you said, I do to God, you entered into a whole nother place with him. And now, because, because what you told the enemy was, I'm not going to serve your God. And the minute you told the enemy, I'm not going to serve your God, now that's when the enemy became your nemesis. Y'all got to hear that. Y'all got to hear that. See, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, the, the devil, is, uh, God is real, but they don't believe that the devil is real. And Satan's biggest trick is to make people think that he's not real. But I concur to you, if you begin to pray, you begin to labor before God, God will show you, amen, not just your enemies, but how the enemy comes, how he maneuvers, amen, how, how he sets up, amen, how he try to distract. God will begin to show you how the enemy works. And watch this, watch this. This right here gonna hit y'all. See, you know sports. The best, the best defense is a high power offense. What am I saying? I'm saying this. See, the enemy got you running. You look at you running from him. But the minute you go into prayer and fasting and seeking God, now you putting him on the run. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You ought to give God glory right there. But I love, amen, these Hebrew boys as they stood up, amen, for what they believed. And guess what? God showed up. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. You 
cannot stand up for God and him not show up. Come on now. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's going to be difficult. I ain't going to lie. It's going to be some challenges. Amen. Amen. But the King of Kings and the Lords of Lords will fight your battle for you. Watch it. He said, all things are possible to he that believes. So wait a minute. So what you're telling me is, despite what I go through, despite what challenges are in my life, if I can just believe that it's going to work out, guess what? Can I hit y'all with something? Don't y'all get mad. It's really already worked out. You just got to believe it. Because of who you serve. Woo, I know that'll preach right there, y'all. Hey, Amen. Well, watch this. He answered and said, Lo, no, no, no. Let me back up. You remember, I think it's about verse, uh, the end of what men were called. Look, then these men were, this is about 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hoses, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast out into the midst of the burning fire of furnace. See, he didn't throw them in the, in the furnace and just kind of strip them first before he took their hats and coats. He could have easily took all that stuff off. Mm -hmm. But he threw them in the furnace with all of that stuff up. Oh, come on. Why? Why? I began to study and research this. See, those garments, uh, <laughs> see, on. what you're carrying now in the spirit uh -huh. is so powerful. Uh -huh. Amen. It is so anointed uh -huh. that the enemy cannot strip you of that. Come on now. The enemy cannot strip you of what you really possess. All he can do is, amen, play with your mind and let you think you don't have it. But if you know that I got it, I possess it, then you ought to be walking in it. The steps of, see, watch this. Some of us don't even know sometimes how we getting up putting one foot in front of the other. Come on, y'all, if anybody honest out there because of what you're going through. But the Bible says this, that the steps of a good man, they're ordered by the Lord. So guess what? I don't even have to know where I'm going. All I have to do is follow Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And watch this. See, see, the, over there, in what I just read, see, the scriptures tells us that because of the, the haste, King Nebuchadnezzar was so uh, infuriated, he was so, uh, uh, wanted to move right then, he told his, his best servants to throw him in the fire. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but it said that, I just read it. He told his best servants, throw them in the fire because he was so quick to, want to destroy the people of God. Uh -huh. But the Bible says, as they tried to do it, they burn up. Can I just pull the bus over right there? See, you got to know that there are people that have attacked you. There are people that have tried to destroy you, destroy you, but you're going to have to, amen, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's why we got to constantly ask God, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Not just hearing words, but from our heart, from our depth of our spirit, we got to believe that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, I think all of us can take a picture out of the three Hebrews book, boys' book. Mm -hmm. Look at what's going on around us. Young people, young family, look at what's happening in the earth realm. See, I don't live, I'm here, but I don't live here. Mm -hmm. I live in the spirit realm. Because I understand all my help comes from the Lord, and the minute I lose that, I lose everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, most times people are, you, know, you can tell of where a person is because if you ask them, well, how you doing? Well, I'm blessed. Well, why are you blessed? They can't tell you why they blessed. Oh, because you driving a 2,000 blood. You got, that's why you think you blessed. Because the last I understood that, 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 that the uh, 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 natural things has nothing to do with spiritual things. Because he said, don't create your things down here. Don't uh, put up your things on earth, but store them up in heaven. That's the last I heard. So we got to store our things up in heaven. Not down now, if he give us nice stuff, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. But amen, to worship that stuff is idolization. Uh-oh, somebody mad at me right there, but that's all right. That's the truth. You'll get away. You'll get, you'll get over it. Amen. See, see, when you know, when you know, that you're 
First of all, you got to recognize that you're in the furnace. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm closing now for real, y'all. I need more. Got about five more minutes. See, see, when you recognize that you're in the furnace, now that should be an indicator on how to fight. Come on now. See, some of y'all are not in the furnace yet because now is not your time yet. But I challenge you, amen, to up the road and round the corner, you're going to be put in the furnace. That's why you got to have compassion on those that are in the furnace. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oftentimes, people will be in a furnace and everybody want to condemn them. Uh-oh, y'all really mad at me now. But where's God in that situation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when I think on the, see, some of us can really say that and it really does something to our spirit. And then some of us can say that because uh, we just have church lingo and we know it sounds good. But when I can say that and it does something to my spirit because I know it's real. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? Amen. That's the claim right there to the enemy that you can't touch me. <laughs> Woo. So even though the struggle is real, God has got your back. All you got to do is know I'm coming out. And watch this. Watch this. Watch this. After, amen, the king looked in the furnace. And saw the Hebrew boys, and the fourth looked as like the son of God. He got them out, the furnace. Mm -hmm. But watch this. And then he promoted them. Promoted them. <laughs> Some of y'all just caught that. It's not until you go through your fiery furnace trial is when God is going to promote you in the spirit. See, you want to get promoted just by tipping toe through the tulips. It don't work that way, baby. You're going to have to go through something. You're going to have to be called everything but the child of God. But when you stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, God will fight your battle. Woo. Yes, he will. I know he will. Because he said this, that weeping may endure for a night. Uh, yes, I feel you now, God. But joy cometh in the morning. But watch this. As I studied that, that verse in the morning is not predicated till you wake up. I mean, in the morning, it's not predicated to the next day. In the morning, it's predicated to when you wake up. See, because when you wake up and see who you're serving, you know, hey, God got my back. God got my back. God got my back. Lord, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you got it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because think about this. Watch this. Watch this. See, many of us, because we was walking in sin prior to saying, I do to God. But watch this. God still saw fit with his bad self to snatch us out and to give us a chance to get it right. Why do we think now that he's going to allow the enemy to destroy us now? Why do you think that? Why is that even in your psyche to think like that? You got to know, no, he's still working it out. He's still working on me. Amen. Amen. He's still putting in me what needs to be in me. Woo. I tell y'all to shout right there. Shout unto God with the voice of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, Lord. We worship you, God. See, when you worship him, amen. See, see, watch this, watch this. When, when, when you really enter in, I feel you now, God. When you really enter into his presence, nothing else matters. Amen. Uh, yeah, yeah, the car don't matter. The house don't matter. Oh, what all matters is God show me me. God, well, who am I? Am I a man of unclean lips? See, we're looking at everybody else because we, wanna, we haven't allowed God to turn the mirror on us. And the mirror you allow, uh, the minute you allow him to turn the mirror on you, yes. you will see you ain't as good as you yes. thought you were. Yes. I know that'll preach right there. Y'all might be mad at me right there, but that's all right. That's the truth in the house. So as we celebrate the Lord, as we honor him for what he's doing. But watch this. Can I, can I just, can I just, let me just push the envelope. As we give him glory yes, now yes. for being in the fiery furnace, yes. 
Uh -huh. well, yeah, yeah, we gotta already know that it's already working it's already. for my good. Okay. Yes, Lord. Woo. Uh, come on now. If it's working for my good, yes, you know what that means? That means I can't be destroyed by it. Yes, Lord. Hey. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, shit, can I that means nothing can come against yes. me except God allow it. Yes, yeah. See, I, the, the, uh, the enemy that mess around, let me get this revelation. Come on now. now, I don't care what I go through because I can go through some challenging stuff, but I know who I serve. Yes. I know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. I know that God. Yes. Listen, I was at Winston-Salem State, and one of my teammates, I didn't know he had a firearm at the time. We were, down, we were in the dorm hall. And about from here to the young lady that's in the, looks like a red chair there. And he was pointing, he pointed. And I was at the end of the hall, at the exit, the exit door was right there. My room was right here, but I was at the end of the hall. And as he pointed, he shot. When he, watch this, don't y'all miss this. When he shot, I ducked in the room. When I ducked in the room, the bullet hit the exit door right there where I was standing. Of course, you know, we wonder what was going on. We laughed about it being football players, but that won't no laughing matter. So years later, years later, as I got out of school, I was in the shower, and that whole incident happened all over again. I saw it. And then I heard the audible voice of God for the first time. He said, that was me that spared your life. Good God from Zion. But, but watch this, watch this, watch this. I began to look at that because I knew all the other situations that I had been in that should have I should have lost my life. You know what I said? I said, God, will you spare my life here, 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 here? He said, yeah, that was me too. So wherever you are, Woman of God, man of God, know that God got your back. Yeah. You right where God wants you to be. <laughs> See, you got to thank God for being in the furnace. Thank God for your haters. Yeah, yeah, for the weapons of our warfare, not carnal, but they're mighty through God for the pulling down the stronghold. So if I can keep myself in a posture or in position to pull down every stronghold that's trying to come up against me, that's what God wants. Yeah, yeah, that's what he wants, y'all. Mm -hmm. He just wants us to give him glory every single day, every single hour. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whenever, amen, Christ is here. Hey, God, we thank you. Thank you Lord. Lord, they're coming to repo my car, but God, I still thank, thank you. you. Yes. Lord, I don't even know how my light's going to be turned. To, I don't know how my, my light's going to be paid, but God, I thank you. Yes. Can you thank him in the midst of the furnace? You know what I found out? This is what I found out, y'all. And we're going to pray. We got to get out here. This is what I found out. Whenever a struggle hit, Cousin Cynthia, it always has an impact point. But watch this. And the way you react to that impact point going to determine how you go through it. So if when it hits... If it knocks you off the rock until you can't move no more, that's how you're going to go through it. But when it hits, amen, and you look at it and say, uh-uh, that ain't do nothing. I'm coming through this. That's how you're going to go through it. And the enemy knows that. So that's why Satan would try to create, amen, barriers for you not to uh, uh, catch that part. Because if you ever catch that, the, the enemy knows that you know that no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Huh? You ever been in a place where you welcome the furnace? That's a whole nother, like, Lord, what in the world? You what, Lord, what else is next? Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. See, you, some of us just want to tiptoe through Christianity and do the bare minimum. God said, no, baby, I created you, amen, for my glory. I want you to do more, amen, than you ever thought you could do. And because it's a spiritual thing, the enemy just ain't going to let you just. Come on now. Oh, you're not going to be able to smile through that. Can, can I 
I just say something real prophetic right here? You're going to have to smile and cry at the same time. Yes, yes. I'm riding down the street with tears in my eyes. But I know God is working it out. Who could talk from time? I know they don't like me at work, but God is working it out. They don't even want to see me coming, but God is working it out. Woo! So go look, look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor this, go ahead and cry, baby. Go ahead and cry. It's all right. It's, it's all right. That's why God gave you two tear glands to cry. Ah, yes, Lord. We love you, Lord. We worship you today in spirit and in truth. Don't you let the enemy, amen, fool your mind. Amen. Satan, amen, attacks your mind. Yes, he does. He don't want you and I to know that God is still working on your side, be, be, uh, uh, despite what it looks like. See, I don't look. See, what well, can I just? I gotta go real deep for y'all right here. Come on. See, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, smell. Amen. I don't look with my natural eyes. I look with my spirit. I don't, I don't. My senses are not predicated to my natural. Because there's another supernatural application that when you tap into that, everything is right there. Yeah. You just got to pull from there. You got to pull from there. Yeah. Amen. Your life, uh, amen, uh, uh, next move is there. It's there. It's there. It's not in the physical. Uh -huh. We can make some physical moves, but that's not predicated to where God is trying to take us. Uh -huh. In the spirit. Because there's somewhere... That God is always trying to take us in the spirit. And watch this. Can I just be honest with you? We don't usually want to go. Come on, sir. It's not just a place we want to go. Because that place is going to cause you to lose some stuff. Amen. You might even think you're about to lose your mind. But give, amen. God has designed it that way. Come on now. Come on now. And can I tell you this? You know why he's a designed it that way? Because he don't want to think, he don't want you and I to think that we have anything to do with what he's doing. So it has to be out of our control. Good God from Zion. It has to be out of our control to even maneuver and mess with. Good God, I know that's the truth right there. That's why I go ahead and back me up against the wall. That's all right. I'm still going to smile. I'm still going to pray. I'm still going to call fire down from heaven. Yes Lord. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Woo, y'all got me hot right now. I think I'm almost at the end of my text here. He said this. He said in verse, amen, 25, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form look like the Son of God. Watch this. You know what was so amazing? about this text Nebuchadnezzar amen God used uh -huh. him not only to get the Hebrew boys Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to another place where they needed to be mm -hmm. come on, come on. but he himself was thrusted into another place with God uh -huh. see God amen he likes a twofold he like a, you know how you, women y'all can get with this. If you go in the grocery store and they have two items that but you can buy for one price, that's how the Lord works. He like a two for one. So if he can do an application that's going to bless the both of us, that's how God works. Amen. So you got to get off that stool or do nothing. Amen. When God is waking you up at 3 o'clock, 3.15 in the morning telling you to go and pray, quit telling God, Lord, I'm tired. The devil is a lie. You better get up off your face, get up out of that bed and go and find your secret place and declare what God is saying. I know that's the truth. Yeah, it can be a struggle. But guess what? When you in him, it's not a struggle now. It's just an opportunity. It's not a struggle now. It's an opportunity to show him, Lord, I'm still here, God. But who knows what he's going to allow to pour out of you and I at that time that's not going to just bless you. Uh -oh. But it's going to bless your household. Amen. It's going to bless people that's connected to you. God desires truth on the inward part. So how many of us are walking in that type of truth. That type of truth, y'all, I got to say this. 
it comes from being thrown in the fire. It comes from not knowing how you're going to make it. <laughs> Lord, I heard my sister tell a testimony. Say how she was rolling around in the middle of the floor, balled up in a fetal position. But somebody say, but God. But God will see you through. It's okay. Go ahead and ball up, roll up, cry, snot. Go ahead and do all of that stuff. But God is still the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. He sits high and he looks low. I'm talking about that God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm not talking about the one that we have created. Oh, with blind, with blind, with blind eyes and blue hair. No, I'm not talking about blue eyes and blind. I'm not talking about that God. Oh, I'm talking about the true and the living God. I'm talking about that God. And if he's gotten us this far. And the mere fact, as I look around, I don't see nobody coughing. I don't see nobody in a pandemic state. Everybody's kind of walking, amen, with your right faculties. That's enough to say, God, I thank you right there. Now, now, watch this. Watch this. Can you use me to go around those that are in that situation and show your glory? See, we ought to be able to walk by people with the pandemic, just lay hands on them, lay hands on them, lay hands on them. Let me declare, let me decree. Y'all see me with a mask on, it's not because I'm scared. It's because I'm just being protected. Come on. Come on, sir. But if God give me the word of knowledge, okay. my sisters are, I mean, they seen some. I'm go, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. But it's but when he speaks, will we listen? Come on, sir. That's it right there, sir. Come on, sir. We don't want to listen. As I got two, three more minutes. I want everybody, if you're wherever y'all, just stand up. Just stand. I know we outside, but just stand to your feet. Mm -hmm. 